So, this video is gonna be different from my normal videos, but after some recent things that have happened, this has to be said. I know my 100 sub special is about two months late now, but I'm working on it. Just please bear with me for this one video. The issue of gun violence is all over the news right now because of the school shooting in Santa Fe, Texas. My heart goes out to all of the victims and survivors. I think we can all agree that was a tragedy that never should have happened. Of course, one of the questions that everyone asks when something like this happens is, why? Why did this happen? How did this happen? Depending on what side of the political aisle you fall on, you're going to blame different things. But there is one thing that nobody should be blaming, and yet there are people who blame it, like incoming NRA president Oliver North, who had this to say in an interview with Fox News. The, the problem that we've got is, is we're, we're trying like the Dickens to treat the symptom without treating the disease. And, and the disease in this case isn't the Second Amendment. The disease is youngsters who are steeped in a, in a, a culture of violence. Uh, they've been drugged in many cases. Nearly all of these perpetrators are male and, and they're young teenagers in most cases. And they've come through a culture where violence is commonplace. All we need to do is turn on a TV, go to a movie. If you look at what has happened to the young people, many of these young boys have been on Ritalin since they were in kindergarten. Now, I am certainly not a doctor, I'm a Marine, but I can see those kinds of things happening. All I can say about this clip is, no. Say what you want about a culture of violence, say what you want about gun control or whatever, that's not what this video is about. Do not blame Ritalin for this tragedy. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, this is methylphenidate, better known as Ritalin. It's a drug used to treat attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder, or as everyone calls it, ADHD. When I was in high school, I was diagnosed with ADHD. That means that unless I'm really interested in something, I have a really hard time focusing on it. This causes a lot of trouble, especially in school. I have a real hard time paying attention in class, and if you look at the grades I've got in the past, you'll find that because of that, I'm not exactly the best student. Some people with ADHD can manage it themselves, but a lot of people can't, and instead, they have to rely on medication. I am one of those people. I have a prescription for Concerta, which is basically the same thing as Ritalin, only it lasts longer. Without my medication, I have a hard time focusing on anything. Ritalin is not the cause of these shootings. Let's look at some data. In 2015, there were 14 and a half million prescriptions for Ritalin. Even if we assume that every shooter that did some kind of shooting in the United States in 2015 had Ritalin in their system. Hi, kudo from about 10 and a half hours after that was recorded here. Now I know what I just said is a massive assumption. Please roll with it. It's for a thought experiment. We aren't even at half a percentage point of people with those prescriptions. Also, I was curious to see if I could find any data to back up the claim that school shooters are more prone to be taking things like Ritalin or have any some kind of mental health disorder. So I looked this up and in 2000 the US Secret Service actually released a report on targeted violence against schools and it says, I quote, few of the attackers had been diagnosed with any mental disorder prior to the incident. Additionally, fewer than one third of attackers had histories of drug or alcohol abuse. Just thought I should throw that out there. So no, Ritalin is not the cause of gun violence. Now, Ritalin does have a whole host of side effects. They can range from insomnia to weight loss to a loss of appetite to anxiety, agitation, and nervousness. But that's why you're only able to get it with a prescription. About once a month, I see a psychiatrist who checks up on me and writes my prescription. He makes sure I'm not having any serious side effects and can adjust the dose or even change the medication. Medication I take based off of what's happening. I cannot just walk into a pharmacy and buy it. Say what you want about the culture of violence or gun control or whatever, but do not blame Ritalin and its users for gun violence because we have nothing to do with it. And just gonna throw this out on the side, if you really want to know my views on gun control or whatever, just dig through my Twitter feed. I posted something about it a long time ago. Sorry about the different kind of video, I know I'm two months late with my 100 subs special, I promise I'll get to it.
Just like and sub if you want to eventually see it. I'll see you guys next time, whenever that is.